Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at the Emacs 2205 Racing Edition motors, but more specifically at their active cooling system. So as you can see from this image from Emacs's website, it says that the active cooling fins greatly reduces the motor temperatures. So today we're going to use thermal imaging to see if that is true. So to do this we're going to put it on the test bench and put it up against a standard motor. So here I have one of Xhover's brand new 2204 2300kb motors. Now for the purpose of testing it would have been better if I did have a 2205 motor to match against the Emacs motor but unfortunately I don't and this is the next best thing. So what we're going to do is run the motor for a couple of minutes pulling about 2 amps then we're going to push it up to 4 amps and see what the difference is. Once we have our temperature readouts we'll then swap over to the X hover motors and run the same tests. The thermal imaging camera that I'm going to be using is the new FLIR 1 for iOS. So let's get on with the tests. As you can see I've got the Emax 2205 on the bench and we've got a temperature of around 6 degrees at the moment. You can just make out the ESC on the bottom left which is quite warm. And what we're going to do is build up the amps until we're pulling it around 2 amps. You can already start to see the motor start to warm up and glow red as well as the wires that lead to the motor glowing red. So I'm just going to speed the video up 8 times so you can see the temperature difference. And as you can see, we're just pulling around 2 amps at the moment, and we've got a temperature of around 14 degrees. So I left the motor running for about another 2 and a bit minutes, and as you see, our temperature steadily rose until we got to around 18 degrees. At that point, I decided to turn the throttle up, and we're going to pull about 4 amps. So as we expected the temperature starts to rise but not by much, eventually we peaked out at around 20 degrees. It's quite interesting as I move the camera around now that you can see the heat transfer going from the ESCs and even from the power cable itself that feeds the ESCs. So the Emacs motors pulling 2 amps went up to a maximum temperature of 18.7 and then when pulling 4 amps we went up to a temperature of 20.5. So now it's time for the X hover motors. Again I'll just mention that these are 2204s not 2205s. So just like in our last test we're going to pull a maximum of 2 amps and let the heat build up and see where we end up at. You can already see with these motors that there is a significant heat build up, even in this short time. Eventually we peak out around 24 degrees pulling 2 amps, so let's put it up to 4 amps. The temperature steadily increased until we hit a maximum of around 30 degrees. So in conclusion it does appear that the active cooling on the Emacs motors is definitely making a difference. When the motors were pulling 2 amps we got a maximum temperature of 18.7 degrees. Yet when we done the same test with the X hover motors they were up to 24 degrees. And when we were pulling 4 amps we went up to a maximum temperature of 20.5 degrees. Whereas the standard X hover motors went over 30 degrees. 
But just remember, as I mentioned earlier, these X Hover motors are 2204 and the Emacs are 2205. So this leaves me with a couple of questions. Is the active cooling really worth it? Does it really make a big difference? Will our motors last longer? And also, does it sacrifice any power for the cooling? Anyway, that's all for today's video, guys. I do hope you found this insightful. And don't forget to stick around as there's plenty more to come. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.